Eighty percent of adults have some form of gum disease, and most don't even know it. Many patients, however, diagnosed with moderate to severe gum disease face an invasive and often painful procedure to treat the problem. But a new option might change all that. We'll get the details now from Los Angeles. Dr. Robert Gregg is a former faculty member at UCLA School of Dentistry's Hospital Dentistry Division. He's also the developer of laser periodontal therapy. Thank you. Thanks so much for getting up this early and joining us on the show today, Dr. Gregg. Thank you. Good to be here. Well, let's begin. What is this laser-assisted therapy for gum disease, which I understand otherwise is, is pretty, pretty invasive for patients? Laser-assisted new attachment procedure, also known as LANAP, is a means to treat gum disease using a laser versus uh, scalpel and, and uh, suture surgery. In the process, what we do is, uh, after a proper periodontal diagnosis with x-rays and periodontal chartings, we use the laser to gently pass between the gums. It's a very tiny fiber optic, about three human hairs, to vaporize the disease and leave the otherwise uh, healthy tissue structures in place. Uh, we use ultrasonic root debridement, uh, uh, root uh, cleaning devices to clean the root surface. And then we use another setting on the laser to clot the blood so that we get a seal so we don't have to use sutures. Yep. About half of the mouth is treated at a given point in time, uh, and then one week later the other half is treated. Two, two, two hour visits. Yeah. So what would be the alternative? For example, it sounds like a lot of people today are already going through, as you said, you know, cutting scalpels and stitches. What, is, what does that entail? So how much more of a benefit and improvement will this be? Conventional surgery involves removing uh, tissue in order to reduce the pocket depth. Mm -hmm. And what this procedure is, is a uh, bone building procedure without removing any of the gum tissue or using any scalpels or, or stitches, just using the laser and the, uh, the ultrasonics. So it sounds like recovery time is shorter, people can get back to work sooner? Absolutely. Less pain, less bleeding, less infection, less post-op recovery time, quicker return to work, uh, and, and actually less expensive based on the fact that you don't have to spend so much time in the dental chair. Yeah, that's a good point. Cost. I, I'm, I'm curious how widespread and how available is this? Because certainly if so many of us have gum disease and are potentially facing invasive surgery, another less invasive alternative is very appealing. Yes, we have about 700 dentists across the country that are doing this now, doing the LANAP protocol. Um, Alaska, Hawaii, and both coasts, and uh, all, all the states in between. So let's say somebody's tuning in, listening, um, and are interested. How would they find out? Will they talk to their general dentist? Are they referred to a periodontist? Who is trained in doing it? And, and really how easy it is to access someone who has that experience, that training? Yes, pro probably the best uh, contact is uh, the company at millenniumdental.com. And uh, there's a doctor locator uh, uh, at that website. Uh, you could also call... Uh, the, the phone number, I suppose, the 888-449-LASER uh, uh, phone number as well. You know what? Let's back up a minute. I think um, it, since so many of us experience some form of gum disease, I'm thinking what are the kind of preventive steps, certainly long before we need a laser-assisted um, surgery? What are things people can do to prevent, as you described, those pockets of bacteria, of infection that can lead to so many chronic illnesses? Well, certainly regular dental visits and uh, early intervention would be good ideas. Um, you've heard it before, I'm sure, brushing and flossing are, are good attempts to uh, prevent the onset. But uh, the most uh, uh, common reason for advanced gum disease is the untreated or undiagnosed early stages of the disease. And oftentimes patients just don't access the healthcare system or their dental uh, system in order to get diagnosed because it is a painless, silent, often uh, symptomless uh, uh, disease that slowly creeps up on, on uh, the, the individual. Yeah, could you describe a little bit what are the, the outcome as a result of un, you know, someone not getting treatment? In addition to sort of the local disease, what are some of the other more general systemic complications that, are, that you know, gingivitis or chronic infection can bring on? Yes, there's been some, uh, a lot of attention uh, paid recently to the association between gum disease and other systemic diseases such as uh, heart attacks, strokes, uh, preterm babies, low birth weight babies, 
uh, diabetes and uh, basically making these uh, conditions worse. That, that's, that's the association. That hasn't yet been demonstrated to be causative. But certainly anything you can do to reduce your risk factors uh, for those other systemic uh, uh, conditions would be highly advisable. And it just makes sense. I mean, when I see patients that have a lot of puffy tissue, red tissue, inflamed tissue, uh, that indicates there's a lot of bacterial load in their mouth, a lot of bacterial uh, uh, germs circulating about, and they have access to the rest of the body through the bloodstream. Just makes right. sense that we'd want to clean that out. I'm, I'm curious, what, what, what can a patient look for themselves? They're looking in their mouth, brushing their teeth. Is it bleeding of the gums? You said they don't have pain, but what else, they, what, what might they experience? Well, one of the, the, the sort of uh, frustrating things about the disease, I guess, is that it doesn't always leave a clear uh, path to its uh, origins or, its, or it's the fact that it's there. Um, it, there may not be some overt symptoms. Um, right. In fact, in the later stages, some of the, the, the uh, okay. indications like blood, uh, bleeding uh, aren't even there. So a right. visit That's to the dentist is advisable. Sounds good. Dr. Greg, thank you so much for your time getting up so early today. We really appreciate it. We hope thank you. you. Found thank you for the opportunity. Oh, sure. Absolutely. We hope you found this edition of Healthy Life informative. To find out more on these stories and a host of other health-related topics, we invite you to go to our website at abcnews.com. Thanks for joining us today. From all of us at the Healthy Life production team, we wish you good health.